Now something you want to be aware of is the ammonia and nitrite in your tap water. So we go through phases here in Sydney where there doesn't appear to be ammonia or nitrite in our tap water. And also when I cheap test with the cheaper test kits, I'll often see no ammonia and nitrite in the tap water. But then when I use the better kits, such as your JBL kit, it is not uncommon that I'll find ammonia and nitrite in the tap water. So if you have very good filtration and you have good oxygen and lots of biological filtration, that ammonia and nitrite assumably should get oxidized very quickly and should not be the end of the world. Yet if you're doing large water changes, it's something to be very aware of because you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're using good quality water ages and good doses of them because higher doses of um, water ages will help to detoxify ammonia and nitrite. Because if you're in a situation where you are doing significant top ups or very regular water changes and using untreated tap water, you may very well get issues with your fish and or your filter good bacteria. So at the end of the day, I'm um, making sure that you use good quality test kits. Um, with the ammonia solutions, you really want three part solutions, not two part solutions. And with your nitrite test kits, you really want two part solutions, not one part solutions. So making sure you're using good quality test kits, like your JBL German test kits. You pay a little bit more for the kit but it is really well worth it. So um, fluctuations in levels of ammonia and nitrite in tap water is something to be very aware of, very concerned about, and it is very easy to fix.